Hey Saggies, welcome to your love reading July 22nd to the 31st for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sag, oh, sorry if it seems like I'm a little <clears throat> down. I almost cried during the meditative session. Um, so Sag, first things first, I got, I did get a lot of messages very quickly for you, very quickly. Um, I heard dropped the ball. I saw a walrus, which was kind of interesting. Uh, it actually feels very Sagittarian. I'll explain why after. Then I saw a zoo and it was a very quick flash. Like I only knew it was a zoo because it's like I saw like the cages and stuff. And like I actually saw a little giraffe head peeking out over like one. So giraffe might also play a role here as far as a spirit uh, totem, uh, as far as an animal totem is concerned. Definitely walrus is playing a big role for you, Sag. I actually feel like it, it pretty much represents a Sagittarian. I know you guys are usually the horse, right? Um, I'll, but again, I'll explain why after that. And <sighs> sorry guys I like after that like zoo imagery I like I felt someone's like guttural sadness either it's you or someone that you're connected with Sag and it's like someone just feels so trapped so confined feels like they really messed up or feels like they really kind of like dropped the ball <laughs> dropped the ball whether it's you or someone that you're connected with walrus as an animal spirit um energy is actually really it's like i said it's very sagittarian it's it's very humanitarian actually it's doing a lot for others um almost like um like a gentle giant sort of energy where yes you are powerful and yes you're very capable but you give to others you're very giving you're very kind you're very gentle you know it's that energy kind of at play i feel like someone recognizes that energy in you you at least you already know you're like that <laughs> all right but that that's the energy around you that's kind of your aura and someone knows that someone's recognizing that and again this could be vice versa but just take it as it resonates and whoever's recognizing that it's like they feel like they dropped the ball right they feel like they dropped the ball um and with that zoo imagery oh my god oh that was horrible um it's a lot of caged energy a lot of imprisonment energy a lot of confinement energy <sighs> Someone feels very trapped within themselves, I feel like, in regards to you. And again, this could be vice versa. You could be feeling very trapped, sad. You could feel like, damn, I really messed up. Or how did I miss that? How did I not see that? I also feel like it's not about, it's about not seeing something because of that giraffe energy. Giraffes are very, it's a very intuitive energy. It's literally being able to see everything. Giraffes are so dull. <laughs> it's literally being able to see everything. And giraffes are actually um, really interesting pack animals as well. Um... Why did that come through and all of a sudden? Pack. Oh my god. I'm gonna cry in this reading. I already know. Um, Sag, whoever's feeling like, like this, um, they feel like they lost part of their pack with you or they feel like they dropped the ball in regards to you and you're so part of their tribe is kind of how they feel. Oh my god. I like... I'm not going to let the sadness overwhelm me here. Um, but that's definitely the energy that's going on for you guys during this time. And it's like that sadness is very overwhelming. I really hope it's, it's well, I don't want anyone to be in that kind of energy. But I really hope it's not you because I feel like you guys have been on the fast track to, to a lot of abundance. And I know Jupiter being retrograde in Sag has been, you know, kind of a bumpy ride. But it, because it's coming to a close, it is bringing in a lot of abundance for you. So I really hope that it's like all of a sudden you don't feel like you messed up on something just because you were focused on your abundance. I really hope you're not feeling that. Um, but I really feel like it's more someone feeling that way about you. But again, you could be feeling this way about someone else. Okay. Oh, all right. Let's get into the pre-shuffle. So we have... The Hierophant, Taurian energy. I know it's a very dark Hierophant. And uh, I'm starting to learn this deck because I just cracked it open yesterday. And through the breaks in between videos, I've been looking at the book a little bit. This is actually intentionally a very dark Hierophant. Um, very much how uh, I think how a lot of people are seeing the patriarchy these days. Now we have the Eight of Wands in reverse, Sagittarian energy with the Lovers, Gemini energy. It's also my Divine Soul Connection card. So soulmates, twin flames, divine counterparts, whatever re title resonates with you, kindred spirit. It's essentially an incredibly, incredibly close soul connection. And the Star Aquarian energy. Then we have Three of Cups in reverse, Cancerian energy with the Hanged Man, Piscean energy. Then we have Seven of Wands, Leo energy with the... Uh, with the sun, more Leo energy. I don't know why I had to stop myself for a second. So Sag, with this pre-shuffle energy, this Hierophant, I feel like this is more of that confined energy. Someone feels like they've been a slave. Like a slave to tradition, a slave to the mundane, the slave to obligation. 
slave to obligation and it seems like they're still they still feel very much confined i, I am actually getting like contra like contractual obligations binding slavery it's like that sort of energy is what this person's carrying the person who's carrying around this guttural sadness and actually i just kind of realized with the lovers here, it kind of also feels like this connection that you have with this person is slave to their obligations, Sag. So I think whatever is going on in their life, I feel like the connection with you suffered because of whatever obligations they already have. If they're already married, I really hope that's not the case, but if they are already married, that's definitely part of it. Um, but it feels contractual. It feels contractual, whatever it is, but it is an obligation at the end of the day and they feel like they're a slave to it, feel like they can't get from under it. Then we have Eight of Wands in reverse with the Lovers and the Star card. This is a very blessed union. Sorry, I just got a call. Like, I see it. Lovers with the Star, and especially like Star, Star. This is a blessed connection. It's incredibly, wow. It's just, it's so nurturing. It's so nurturing and it has a lot of energy coming from it too is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling so much in the heart space, Sag. You might be having a lot of heart chakra energy kind of going through you. Might even going through a little bit of a heart chakra opening. And if you're this connected to this person, because this is a very spiritual connection, like very divine connection, you're probably even feeling their pain and it's probably throwing you for a loop, but you probably are feeling their pain here, okay? And the Eight of Wands in reverse, I'm getting really, really bad miscommunication. Also a very delayed, delayed forward movement. Crawl, a crawl. It's like this person is stuck in this, oh God, this card doesn't even want to focus. There we go. It's almost like this person not only can't get away from whatever this obligation is, but it's like they're slowly trying to crawl towards you, but it, they're having a hard time because of these obligations. And then we have three of cups in a verse with the hanged man. This is, this is trying to figure stuff out. It's, you know, it's funny because I kind of get cocoon with this energy. This person is going through a spiritual growth. They are. Yeah, Sag, I think you're feeling their heart chakra stuff. I think you're feeling their heart chakra stuff. Uh, especially in this hangman position it's I hate to like use that metaphor but it's like it does feel a little bit like caterpillar to a butterfly sort of energy where it's like they're so bound they're so bound and feel so tied up in their obligations and they're so tied up in their pain and their discomfort that it's just like ugh, their heart chakra is transforming while they're in this bound state and it is leading to a spiritual expansion of some kind with that three of cups in reverse I'm getting that they're not really uh they're not really engaging with many people <laughs> sorry guys my throat chakra is not happy uh leo, leo the leo reading actually really messed up my throat chakra anyway i don't feel like they're really engaging with a lot of people they're not trying to pay attention to people they're really isolating themselves they could even be a little depressed in this energy uh but either way they're not out and about they're not in engaging with people they're not interacting with people they're very much alone sag they feel very very alone i think even if you're married to this person they would feel very alone, even if you live with them, you know? But then we have this energy, which I love, which is a seven of wands and the that Leo energy with the sun. I actually feel like this is more your energy, Sag. Yeah, yeah. All of the energy I was feeling of dropping the ball, that's all their energy. And it's very overwhelming. But you're also picking up on it, which I think is why it was so overwhelming for me to tap into. Because it's almost like not only are they feeling it, but you're feeling it. It's compounded. You're so spiritually connected. There's no way you're not, you don't, there's no way you're ignorant to what is going on with them, okay? But with the seven of wands and the sun, I do feel like you're trying to guard yourself from this energy and you're trying to just focus on happiness. You're trying to be out in, uh... oh, interesting. Yeah, you guys, a lot of you have come into some success because I feel like you're actually basking. Oh, ha, walrus. <laughs> That's so funny. You're basking. You're basking in your success and you're trying to and you're trying to not feel them. You're trying really hard to not feel them. You're trying, I can tell. You're just you're trying to stay guarded in your energy. You're trying to protect yourself with your energy, but I can tell you're kind of struggling with that too. But you're staying focused. You're staying focused. You're maintaining your strength in that and you're also maintaining your confidence as well, Sag. But this person, oh man. It's, it's, it's a rough feeling. Um, anyway, Saj, let's go ahead and get into your reading. For anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. Okay. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? July 22nd to the 31st. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? July 22nd to the 31st. 
By the way, we're going to get a lot of Leo cards, and we're going to have a lot of Leo energy for Leo season starting in this time period. So don't be surprised if you see a lot of Leo cards in readings you watch, or that if you feel a lot of that Leo energy yourself, being a sister fire sign. Any messages for Sag regarding love, July 22nd to the 31st? Okay. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? July 22nd, Empress in reverse. Oh my. Libra energy. Uh, yeah, Libra energy. Sorry, that felt weird when I said Libra. You might be dealing with a Libra. You could have that in your chart. Um, Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy. Okay, they saying, they're saying Libra again. Why are they? Libra is really important in this reading for some reason for, for you guys. I feel like that's about placements. It's Libra, Libra, Libra. Okay, thank you. I was like, they wanted me to, to just say it over and over again. Anyway, so Empress in reverse. Sag, I really feel like this is your energy here. The fact that you're in reverse, you're, like I said, you're having a little tough time too, because you can feel them. You can feel them. And it's like, it's almost this energy of, I can't, I can't feel their sadness because I have to focus. I can't falter because I have to focus. This, I, I gotta be honest, guys, this feels very much like a divine counterpart situation here, especially with all this eclipse energy we're in. But either way, Sag, um, you are an empress energy. You're just, you're trying to maintain. You're trying to not get distracted by them. Any messages for Sagittarius? Any, you miss them, Sag. You really miss them. Oh man, this is gonna be an emotional reading. <laughs> Any messages for Sagittarius? Regarding love, July 22nd to the 31st. Oh, oh sad. I don't know if I can make it through this reading. Ten of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy, okay? This is usually a home vibration or family vibration, but in reverse, it is about the lack of emotional happiness. In regards to that, the lack of positive emotions in regards to that, you feel very disappointed yourself. Let down. <sighs> You feel very, very let down, Sag. Um, and you're trying to stay happy, but you're having a hard time because you're feeling so much of their heart chakra stuff and so much of their own sadness. And it's guttural sadness. Like, I wouldn't be surprised this person's like, I wouldn't be surprised if this person is crying every day, to be honest with you. But it's really kind of fucking with your own environment, which you're not liking. You don't appreciate that. And you don't want them to feel bad. But at the same time, it's like, <laughs> you're like, what about me? <laughs> what about me? Any messages for Sagittarius? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hold on a second. Card vomit, card vomit. All right, so we have Page of Swords with the Queen of Cups, Cancerian Energy, could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Interesting. And then we have Ten of Pentacles here, Virgo Energy. Oh, this is fascinating. I'm getting a lot of Mother Energy. A lot of Mother Energy. Some of you might be getting some advice from your mother here. Because with the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, that's a lot of family energy. Cancerians aren't associated with mother, right? The moon mother. Ten of Pentacles is more of that family vibration. And you already have the Ten of Cups here, right? So there's some, there's some, you're not happy. You're struggling emotionally. But when it comes to the physical aspects of your environment, uh, you do have someone here giving you advice. That's for some of you. Others, it, this is you maintaining, like uh, emotional versus physical, right? So emotionally, this is you. Sag, you're struggling, you're trying, you're trying to focus, you're trying to focus in the th in more of the three-dimensional aspect of what people actually see, because your emotions are internal. But what people are seeing is this, that you're maintaining, that you are very, that you are an emotional person, you're very sweet, sweet and healing, more of that walrus energy, um, but that's what people are seeing here. That's what people are seeing. That's what, yeah, see with the, more of that page of swords. So just to pair, just, Jesus, I'm sorry, that sadness is really distracting. So Sag, quick summary. Emotionally, this is you. Struggling, but you're getting by. You're trying to stay focused. Some of you are getting advice from a mother figure or someone in your family, someone who is a mother or maternal um, description of some sort. Others of you, this is just representing uh, your actual uh, image, okay? What people are actually seeing. People are seeing you um maintaining people are seeing you very strong people are seeing that you are sweet you are kind and you are very very healing okay but some of you are definitely getting advice from a mother figure about the situation let's see what else we got here any other messages for sagittarius regarding love july 22nd 
Any other messages for Sagittarius regarding love? July 22nd to the 31st. We got two other cards out here. Any other messages for Sagittarius regarding love? Okay, so we have, ooh, there's Jupiter, Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energy. I love seeing that for a Sag reading. Nine of Cups, Piscean energy. Okay, okay. Oh, and now we've got a Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn energy uh, could also be Earth or Water here. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Look at this amazing energy you're ending on, Sag. That's amazing. That's the wheel moving forward. That's getting your wish fulfillment. That's getting what you want. That's becoming. That's you becoming more grounded, feeling more stable, feeling more stable after dealing with this person's emotions. Overall energy, we have a King of Swords. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. Underneath that, we do have, oh yes, the Emperor. The Emperor, Aries energy, Taurus energy, Divine Masculine energy here. Okay, Sag, I'm getting all different messages. For, I'm getting a lot of different messages for different Saggies. Some of you are dealing with your parents. Some of you are dealing with your parental issues. Some of you are dealing with some family craziness. And you're it's almost like some of you are delivering some truth to your family. Like truth to your parents. Like for some of you, your parents aren't, work aren't working it out. Or there's like parental figures in your family. Matriarch, patriarch kind of energy. Where one is very cold and dominating. And the other one is very uh, upset emotionally. Very depressed. Very upset. And you're delivering some hard truth and stability, and that pushes the wheel forward, bringing a lot more stability to the situation. That's for some of you. Others, you are dealing most definitely with someone who is a true counterpart with that emperor versus empress energy. They're showing coldness. It's funny because both of you are emotionally feeling each other. Let me put it this way. Just hang in there with me. This emperor, for those in this more divine counterpart situation, or more of just like the true romance situation, true counterpart situation, the masculine energy is coming off very cold. They're showing coldness. They're showing coldness, very little communication. You're showing emotional stability. You're showing strength. You're showing composure. You're showing abundance. But on the inside, this masculine energy is an emotional mess. And a lot, it's that guttural sadness. I'm pushing it out. And you are feeling that and it's making you have a hard time emotionally, even though on the surface, it looks like you're holding your shit together, okay? But on the inside, you're feeling their pain, you're feeling their heart chakra stuff, and it's really hard for you to maintain and push it out, but you're trying really hard to show that you're focused, to show that you're maintained. And by the end of all of this, the wheel is turning and stability will happen. Okay, that being said, let's dig it into these energies a little bit more, okay? So overall energy is this masculine energy because you are feeling them so intensely. For those where this is more of a counterpart situation, again, that parental story I was picking up on, that's only going to be for a handful of you, where this is more of like the father patriarchal figure, and this is the mother figure, the mother figure, maternal figure, divine feminine figure, okay? Um, and like I said, I already went over that situation. I don't want to hone in on that story too much because... I feel like for most of you, this is about a romantic situation, a counterpart situation, not necessarily divine counterparts or twin flames from all of you, but it definitely is hitting home with that for a lot of you, okay? So let's focus on this energy, the Ten of Cups in reverse. Let's look at that. That's you feeling this masculine energy. Tell me about the Ten of Cups in reverse. Tell me about the Ten of Cups in reverse. For Sagittarius regarding love July 22nd to the 31st tell me about Ten of Cups in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love July 22nd to the 31st whoa 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 okay cards are really one to talk today so we have Hermit in reverse Virgo energy here okay this is you again <laughs> it's like I feel you pushing this guy out so intensely guy or girl it's just masculine energy I almost feel like this is you pushing them out because they're in hangman mode right they're the ones in hangman which is very similar to the hermit they usually go together in readings they always pop up together in readings but the fact that it's in reverse it's like you don't want to feel that you really don't want to feel that of whatever it is they're going through you're trying really hard to push them out energetically tell me about ten of cups in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love, July 22nd to the 31st. Yeah, see, what did I just say? Two of Cups, Cancerian energy, definite soulmate energy going on with this. Yeah, it's that's just, again, heading home on the connection. Trying to push them out because it's distracting. 
Tell me about Ten of Cups in reverse. And you care about them. You love them. There's a hell of a lot of love here, by the way. A lot of love. You care about them a great deal, but it's just like, I need to focus on me. Tell me about Ten of Cups in reverse. For Sagittarius, regarding love, July 22nd to the 31st. <laughs> okay. I definitely know that this is for a lot of counterparts because <laughs> my masculine just came into the reading. And I don't have any Sag placements, and neither does he. So I, I that's definitely an indicator. Uh, he can, he just came into the reading. Uh, he's basically giving me one of our songs. So with Divine Counterparts, more often than not, um, you know, sometimes there's uh, messages that comes through in song. And so, uh, you know, I know a lot of you already know that and already have your own songs with your own masculines and feminines. Uh, one of our personal songs is Yours by Russell Dickerson. Um, and he, oh my God, it's so loud it's so loud that might that song might resonate for you but that really was just confirmation that yes for those if you're wondering if this is about your counterpart yes this is about your counterpart but for those where you don't have a counterpart it can still apply to you okay i'll put a link down there for the song if you guys are curious about it tell me about ten of cups in reverse tell me about ten of cups in reverse for sagittarius regarding love oh whoa whoa okay so we have Magician, Mercurial Energy, Virgo, Gemini, could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader, Divine Masculine Energy. Then we have the Knight of Cups in Reverse, Piscean Energy, could also be Water or Fire here. Ooh. Mm. You guys are so feeling each other, it's ridiculous. This is more of the Masculine's Energy here. Again, doesn't have to be a Divine Masculine, but it's the Masculine Energy in your reading that you're feeling you're feeling that they are, oh, you're feeling that they want to come forward, but they're not doing it. You're feeling that, like they want to give you love, but they're not, they're not. And it's because they're not dealing with their emotions very well. They're just, they're just so upset. They're just so upset right now, but they are in manifestation mode. They are in manifestation mode. It's almost like they're trying to manifest their way out of it. Like trying to manifest their way out of emotional turmoil interesting and this emotional turmoil like i said is dropping the ball feeling trapped in regards to whatever happened with you two talking about ten of cups in reverse for sagittarius talking about ten of cups in reverse for sagittarius regarding love july 22nd to the 31st talking about ten of cups in reverse for sagittarius regarding love Ooh. okay Wow. Now we have Eight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy, and Three of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. Oh my God, both of you are doing this. This is, it's so fascinating. Both of you are doing this. Sag, this is you trying to push your, push their energy out because clearly there's been a rift of some kind. If they, did, if they didn't feel like they did drop, drop the ball with you, things would be kosher, right? Essentially, things haven't been working with that Three of Pentacles in reverse, and you're trying to release yourself from that energy by pushing out their energy. And they're trying to release themselves from the sadness and disappointment and guilt they're feeling from it not working. And they blame themselves for that. Overall energy for the Ten of Cups in reverse. Oh, look at that. Five of Wands. Oh, focus. Five of Wands, Leo energy. This is conflict. Conflict and competition. I almost feel like your two energies are like rubbing up against each other. Not in a sexual way, obviously. Um, but it's like, because their energy is invading yours so intensely and you're trying to push theirs out. It's like, it's almost like your energies are... Like, like butting heads in a very weird way and at the same time there's such a there's such a mirroring going on here oh my god this is insane um but you're fighting you're fighting their energy you're fighting them to get out of your energy field so intensely because you need to focus because you need to focus okay let's go into this energy the page of swords the queen of cups and the ten of pentacles let's look at the page of swords there's a lot of energy going on in that card like i said sag some of you are getting advice from your mothers they could even be getting advice from their mothers because you guys are marrying each other so intensely <laughs> um there could both of you could be doing that but this is more about your image sag and how you're coming off like visually just quick right out of the gate it's like holding your shit together even though internally you're having a serious emotional battle with their energy, okay? But let's look at the Page of Swords. Mm, yeah, let's do Gilded. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Tell me about Page of Swords for Sagittarius. Regarding love. Wait a minute. 
in that last channeling I did for the, for the counterparts, didn't I get Sag a lot? I got a sign a couple times in that reading, and I can't remember which one it was. Now I'm thinking it was Sag. It might have something to do with Jupiter um, going direct for, for all counterparts. Okay, interesting. Tell me about the Page of Swords for Sagittarius regarding love. July 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about the Page of Swords for Sagittarius regarding love. July 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about the Page of Swords for Sagittarius regarding love. July 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about Page of Swords. <coughs> <sighs> we are on the Page of Swords and now my throat chakra is acting up again. Let's see here. Ooh, wait a minute. What? Mm. Okay. Six of Cups, Scorpionic Energy, could also be past life, soulmate, karmic energy. The world, fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, controls Capricorn. Seven of Swords, Aquarian energy. And then Ace of Cups. The Seven of Swords is interesting to me right here. I feel like... Are they watching you? Yeah. They're trying not to, but they are. This is interesting. This masculine energy is watching you, Sag, which is why it came, okay, that's why. That's why this Page of Swords came out so closely to, to your energy and your image. They are watching you. They've tried not to. They've tried not to. They've tried not to check in on you. They've tried not to look at your social media. They've tried not to ask people about you. They, they're, they've tried and they just can't help themselves. They can't help themselves. And with this energy, it's that nostalgia. It's that longing. It's that missing that missing you, that needing you. It's like needing your energy in their life. I do feel like you're going to hear from them, Sag. I feel like you're going to hear from them and it's going to start a whole new cycle here with you two. And just in general, it's going to start a whole new cycle, whatever you decide to do with it. The only thing that I'm like a little mm, about is the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Seven of Swords, it's not inherently bad. It can also be something something that's done under wrap, something that's done in the dark. Like this could, e these two combinations could be a secret affair. You know, maybe you guys are going to start something on the down low. That could definitely be it. But there's something about it that bothers me. So we're going to look at the seven of swords in a bit, but let's finish getting more cards up for the page of swords. Yeah. Now that I said that, it's like, yeah, I'm getting, I am getting secret affair kind of energy here. If this person's married, Think about that before you do it, okay? Tell me about Page of Swords. Tell me about Page of Swords for Sagittarius regarding love. July 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about Page of Swords for Sagittarius. Okay. Now we have a Queen of Cups again. Double confirmation. There's you. A Cancerian Energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. You two love each other so much. It's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. I really do kind of feel a secret affair here, but we'll look at the Seven of Swords. Overall energy for the Page of Swords in reverse. I'm getting the Knight of Wands in reverse as the overall energy. Sagittarian energy could also be Aries or Leo. I feel like it's just... I'm getting running away. What's that about? It's trying to stay away. Trying to stay away. Like I said, trying to stay away. They're trying to stay away from your energy. They're trying to not engage with you, but they, they're, they can't help themselves. They can't help themselves. They cannot help themselves. Okay, let's look at the Seven of Swords. Um, let's go for Alice with this one, and then we'll move on to the really stable, yummy energy at the end. Tell me about Seven of Swords. Oh, God, I'm not going to cry. I just heard you're my family. Oh, my God. Tell me about Seven of Swords for Sagittarius. Regarding love, July 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about Seven of Swords for Sagittarius regarding love. July 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Oh, sorry. They're bringing me back to what I saw with the zoo and the giraffe. Sag, they're the giraffe. 
Wow, these might be your actual animal totems for some of you, like walrus and the giraffe. It's, I just I just feel like I just heard some of you go like, how could those two coexist? The walrus and the giraffe? I guess only in a zoo. <laughs> Sorry, I could help make that joke. Anyway, tell me about the Seven of Swords for Sagittarius regarding love. The Seven of Swords, I'm also getting a secret planning energy. So if you two, two don't, if you two don't start a secret affair, I feel, I feel like they're secretly planning to, to, to do something with you, to do something with you. Tell me about Seven of Swords for Sagittarius regarding love, July 22nd to the 31st. <laughs> they, what did I just say? them staying away spying on you checking up on you and then with that seven of swords they can't help themselves they can't help themselves knight of wands sagittarian energy could also be aries or leo yeah they can't help themselves tell me about seven of swords for sagittarius moon in reverse piscean energy also can't syrian for me as a reader i just heard big reveal big reveal yeah sag they're going to make an approach. They're going to make an approach. And it's going to be a big ass reveal. Wow. Okay. Tell me about Seven of Swords. Because, yeah, Sag, sorry, they're showing me the animals again. Sag, you, you, uh, you as this walrus, you were out. You were out and about. You were in your natural environment. They were a giraffe trapped in a zoo. Very confined. Like that slavery kind of obli obli uh, obligatory trapped imprisoned energy that they're in. Tell me about Seven of Swords. Tell me about Seven of Swords. Wait a minute. Oh my God. There's a walrus in this one. Oh my God. And walking with a partner on the beach. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's incredible. That's incredible. Let's say that one more time. <laughs> Just one more time. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Uh, <laughs> wow. Wow, okay, okay. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Oh, tell me more about the Seven of Swords for Sagittarius. If we get a giraffe, uh, uh, I'm gonna be speechless if we get a giraffe in one of these cards. Tell me about Seven of Swords for Sagittarius. Regarding love, July 22nd to the 31st. The Tower. The big reveal leading to a tower moment. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because this is Mars influence here, okay? Wow. A big reveal, Sag. So I got the Seven of Swords. Oh, for the partner of Sag for Sagittarius. Oh, that's so weird. I said partner. Um, next few cards might represent their energy. Let's see. Tell me about Seven of Swords for Sagittarius. Regarding love, July 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about Seven of Swords. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. No giraffes. <laughs> That's okay. But we do have the Magician. Definitely them. Definitely their energy. Mercurial energy. So Virgo, Gemini. Could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy. Ooh, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy here. <laughs> wow. Okay, with this big reveal, there is a tower moment. There is a tower moment. But honestly... So Nine of Pentacles in reverse sometimes can mean insecurity, instability. That's not what they're trying to manifest. Nine of Pentacles upright is also a single energy. They're trying to manifest commitment. They want to claim you, Sag. They want to claim you. They don't want you to be single anymore. They don't want you to be single and up for grabs with anyone else. They want to claim you, okay? Over energy for the Seven of Swords, Three of Swords, Libra energy. They're in some serious pain. They're in some serious pain. I do have a feeling that, um, what, like, for whatever reason, like, of why you guys are separated, for whatever reason or another, I do feel like it was because of them. I do feel like it was because of them. They could have sabotaged it. They could have sabotaged it. It, it, feel, it feels like a violent, abrupt end, actually. Violent and abrupt end. Quick. You didn't see it coming. Whatever it was, you didn't see it coming. But now they're coming in with the big reveal. They want to claim you because they just can't stand to be in this pain anymore. They can't stand it. Sag, oh my God. Everyone's got to watch this reading. <laughs> All right, now we have the Wheel of Fortune with the Nine of Cups 
and the Queen of Pentacles. I really feel like this is stability coming in and not just healing, but also having wishes coming true. <coughs> Excuse me. Someone getting their wish fulfillment and the wheel starts to turn. This might not happen, Sag, until Jupiter goes direct, which I believe is in August. I do believe it's August. It might even be August 11th, if I'm not mistaken. It might be August 11th. If anyone knows what off the bat, please but go ahead and just comment below. I'm like, damn, I really want to see a giraffe in one of these cards, but that's okay. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, let's look at the Nine of Cups and then we'll pull some advice, okay? I'm going to use uh, Steampunk to clarify. Tell me about Nine of Cups. Tell me about Nine of Cups. For Sagittarius. Regarding love. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tell me about Nine of Cups for Sagittarius regarding love. July 22nd to the 31st. Ooh. Tell me about Nine of Cups for Sagittarius regarding love. July 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about Nine of Cups for Sagittarius regarding love. July 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about Nine of Cups, world in reverse, so fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, controls Capricorn. A wish fulfillment is happening once the cycle ends, once the cycle is put to bed. Let's see here. Tell me about the Nine of Cups for Sagittarius regarding love, July 22nd to the 31st. Tell me more about the Nine of Cups for Sag regarding love. July 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about the Nine of Cups for Sagittarius. Ooh, what do we have here? Wow. Look, King of Swords. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. Look, more of that King of Swords. Ser serious masculine energy. I mean, just look at these cards for a minute. Look at all that testosterone in that card in those cards it's a little intense all right tell me more about the nine of cups again a king of swords is aquarian energy it could also be gemini or libra tell me more about the nine of cups for sag regarding love july 22nd to the 31st tell me about nine of cups oh yeah lovers in reverse gemini energy it's also my divine soul connection card so soulmates twin flames divine counterparts here the cycle that's ending is this person's cold energy this person's cold energy ooh, that basically really hurt this connection that's what's going on with this wish fulfillment the end of the cold cycle the end of the cold energy the end of the severing of this connection here and i guess it's not really severing this feels like a connection you can't totally sever let's see what else we got tell me more about the nine of cups Tell me more about the Nine of Cups for Sagittarius regarding love. July 22nd to the 31st. Yeah. Oh, ooh. Oh, nice. Very nice. All right, overall energy. Oh, look at that. Eight of Cups, Piscean energy. Heading towards wish fulfillment. Heading towards the Ten of Cups. Perfect. I love that. Leaving behind the past, leaving behind the spilled cups, the pain. And then the last two cards we have, the Nine of Wands in reverse, Sag energy and the Magician. Mercurial energy, also Virgo, Gemini, because it's Mercurial, Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. This is definitely the masculine energy. Dropping their guard, dropping their defenses. I'm hearing surrender and vulnerable. Surrender and vulnerable. Wow. And this brings in stability to the situation. It brings stability to you, Sag, because you're no longer feeling their emotional turmoil that's been really affecting you and really kind of, excuse me, making it hard for you to focus on your shit, on your life, excuse me, and what you need to do for yourself. Wow, this is really beautiful, guys. I really like this. It looks like someone's going to have a really happy union here, specifically divine counterparts. All right, let's pull um, some advice. Let's pull some advice. For you guys from the spirit animal deck there's no walrus in this one but there is a giraffe just saying <laughs> okay any advice for my saggies regarding this spread any advice for my saggies regarding this spread 
Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? <laughs> they Okay, they're loving the giraffe and walrus thing with me right now. They keep showing them to me. And I have a feeling for some of you, this is not for all of you, but for some of you, and I'm not trying to be offensive. I'm just saying what I'm getting. Uh, you two might be very physically different from each other, like almost like physical opposites. Like one might be really tall like a giraffe and very slender like a giraffe, while the other might be very short and not slender. <laughs> we'll say vivacious. Vivacious, um, meat on the bones, that sort of energy. You know, just very different. Very, very different. Very different physically. You could be from different um, backgrounds, uh, different, gen like very different genetics. It's just different aesthetics, different aesthetics. Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Okay. Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Oh, I love it. Uh, shoot, crow. <laughs> it's really hard to say. Crow spirit. Co-create with spirit with the energy of 17, breaking down to an eight. Please focus. Spirit. <laughs> Spirit's orchestrating a lot of this. Spirit is at play a lot with this. This manifestation energy that um, your person is carrying, that the masculine energy is carrying here, they are working with spirit because spirit really wants this to happen. Spirit really wants this manifestation to come to fruition. So they're really working hard uh, to support uh, the masculine's manifestations here. Um, Sag, and it's not that they, they're not helping you out. You, you're gonna hate this, but it's, it's just, it, you're gonna hate this, but hey, it's just the truth. Specifically for my divine counterparts, this is actually very directed at my divine counterparts, my divine feminines here. Holding space for the masculine is what's going on here with this. That's why you're feeling so much of their sadness and so much of their energy. You're, you're holding space for them to try to deal with it, okay? Now, granted, they're having a hard time. And I think that's why you're also very frustrated because it's really, you feel like it's really messing with your energy. Um... And again, it's not that spirit is like abandoning abandoning you in this. They just know it's very important so that the masculine can work through some of this pain here. Okay. Um, I know how that sounds. I know how that sounds. But you know, they take turns. You guys take turns holding space for each other. The masculines also take turns holding space for the feminines as well. Okay. So just know that. Um, and honestly, Sag, that's why you're maintaining such composure too. As far as like what people can tell, what people are seeing, especially your uh, masculine here. It's like, even though they're seeing that, their higher selves know that you're holding space for them. Their higher selves know that you're feeling the pain that they're going through. <sighs> but you're handling it. You're, you are maintaining your focus, though. You are maintaining your focus. And your guides are there with you. And if you want a little extra help, just call out to your guides to help you out a little bit better with that. Any other advice for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Any other advice for Sagittarius regard? Okay, <laughs> it's funny how that happened. Oh, oh, nice. Horse spirit, freedom is yours with the energy of 33, which is a master number. And dove spirit, BPs, 21, you got another three, you got 333 right here. And then dolphin spirit, this and that are true. 20 breaking down to a two. Sag, I feel like this is all your energy. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my God. Those are stunning cards together. This is a lot of beautiful, graceful, peaceful, very, very majestic, very divine, also very feminine energy. All these cards I associate with very feminine energy. Sag, horse. I love it. Very much you. You are free. You are free. And embracing that energy, embracing that energy of basking in your success and basking in your happiness is really helping you here don't stop doing that that's helping you and if it's helping you it's helping them as well okay um this is also about uh them breaking free out of their imprisonment it's like because you're so free sag i almost called you gemini it's funny because you're so free sag and you are basking your success and you're so full of joy and you have that walrus energy of kindness and warmth and like gentle giant energy 
they love that and they're so drawn to that because it's exactly what they need and what they don't have and what they need to work towards so maintain that maintain that and with dove spirit and dolphin spirit this is about having that um transitional energy of growth i get that i've gotten the dolphin spirit a lot and it's funny because i associate dolphin with gemini so it's funny i almost said gemini um, this and that are true. It's basically saying that as we grow and we go from phase to phase in our life, we don't ever lose all aspects of ourselves, right? We have to integrate new aspects with our old aspects that are still with us. It's also about spending equal time in the light and in the dark, being balanced, being very balanced. You want to say yin yang? You can say yin yang. Um, and that's bringing a lot of peace to the situation here, okay? So maintain your balance, Sag, as much as possible, especially with your inner feminine and inner masculine, even if you're not a counterpart, that's really going to help you in this situation, okay? Let's see what else we got, and then we'll wrap this up. I think I'm going to have to stitch this video. <clears throat> Any other advice for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Any other advice for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Oh, yeah. Any other advice for Sagitt Jesus. <laughs> Sagittarius regarding this spread? I'm not going to lie. I'm really disappointed we didn't get a giraffe, but that's okay. That's okay. So now we have frog spirit. Clear out the clutter. Oh, good Lord. Does this not say it all? 28, which is a cyclical energy, very much like the world energy, right? This is opening the heart chakra. All that green and that little droplet of emotion here. This is definitely clearing out the heart chakra, clearing out the heart space of all of that sadness, all the disappointments, old pains, old wounds. This is definitely what the masculine is going through. Sag, you are definitely feeling it. And also this is an indication that any healing you do, they're going to feel for my divine counterparts. Any healing you do in your own space with your own shit. Oh, damn it. Yep, there we go. Second video. Second video is only going to help them clear out their heart chakra even more. Okay. I'm also hearing let the past be the past. It's also what I'm hearing. This is all advice, guys. You're, you know, this is basically just an opportunity. It's just an opportunity. You can do with it what you will. It's your life. And I don't know every single one of you, you personally. So use your discernment here. Overall, we have another cyclical energy. Oh, lion spirit, 37. Again, cyclical. Uh, be generous of spirit. This is having that composure. Look at how composed this lion is. Not moving an inch because they don't have to, right? Maintaining that composure and compassion. This card is all about having compassion. Sag, I know it's hard, especially those in my divine counterpart situations, specifically my divine feminines, to keep having compassion for this person. But like I said, the more compassion you have in your heart and the more you hold on to that walrus energy and that light that you have, that kindness, the gentle giant energy, the love that you have, the, the quicker this process will go. The, the shorter time you're going to have to feel all of this crazy heart chakra stuff that uh, your masculine is going through, okay? Um, and for anybody who's not in like those situations, it is still about generosity and compassion, okay? Very Leo energy. We are going to be in Leo season like very, very soon, just a couple days. And a lot of uh, shifts are going to be happening into the sign of Leo. Mm, don't be too prideful, Sag. That's what they just told me. Don't be too prideful. Don't fall into the shadow side of Leo. Fall into the light side of Leo. That generous, compassionate, big heart. Light Leos have giant hearts. Yeah, they get a bad rep for their pride because that's the shadow side. But they're very loyal. They're very generous. They're very kind. They're very giving. It's about honing in on that energy with this person. And again, it's just advice. Decide what you want to do. And I just have to share. Look what's on the bottom. Otter. I won't say what this card's about because I say it almost every time it comes out. I like gush about this card. But this is essentially my Two of Cups lovers card, right? <laughs> the counterparts, the twins, the soulmates, the soulmates out there, the kindred spirits. Really having someone that really loves you and really supports you. Really, really supports you. Um, that's what this connection is. It's a very special connection, Sag. And honestly, guys, this was a beautiful read. My God, this was a beautiful read. And Saggies, I congratulations to anybody who this is for, who may be going into union specifically for my counterparts. But for anybody going into a union in this kind of a relationship is beautiful. And I really, really am like so happy for you guys. So happy. Um, if you want to take it. If you don't, then you don't. Up to you. Okay? <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to go. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to check out Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Bye, Sag.